affection and devotion to the most sacred heart of Jesus will now begin. Please rise. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Charles Luanga and companions, martyrs, killed in what is now South Uganda in 1887 because they were Christians. Let us pray that even not to the point of shedding blood, we could also give witness to our faith in Christ as Savior. Let us now acknowledge our sins to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, your mighty God, Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, your Son of God, Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the divine word, became a human being to save us from our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, mercifully grant that the field, which is your church, watered by the blood shed by St. Charles Luanga and his companions, may we be fertile and always yield you an abundant harvest. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. King Agrippa and Bernice arrived in Caesarea on a visit to Festus. Since they spent several days there, Festus referred Paul's case to the king, saying, there is a man here left in custody by Felix. When I was in Jerusalem, the chief priests and elders of the Jews brought charges against him and demanded his condemnation. I answered them that it was not Roman practice to hand over an accused person before he has faced his accusers and had the opportunity to defend himself against their charge. So when they came together here, I made no delay. The next day, I took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought in. His accusers stood around him, but did not charge him with any of the crimes I suspected. 
Instead, they had some issues with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who had died, but who Paul claimed was alive. Since I was at a loss how to investigate his controversy, I asked if he were willing to go to Jerusalem and there stand trial on these charges. And when Paul appealed that he be held in custody for the emperor's decision, I ordered him held until I could send him to Caesar. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty in strength, who do his bidding. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen. Amen. I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands. Someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this, signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, follow me. This is the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening. May God's blessing be upon you always and upon your loved ones. Memorial of Charles Luanga and his companions. Martyr, shed blood for Christ. 
That is why the stole is always red when we celebrate the memorial for martyrs. And we remember what Tertullian said, Sanguis Martyrum Simina Ecclesiae. The blood of martyrs is the seed of the church. Parang tinutubigan niya, parang ini-irrigate niya ang simbahan kapag may nag buwis ng buhay dahil sa kanilang pananampalataya. At ganyan na ang kasaysayan ng simbahan. First reading, simula na ang persecution kay Paul. This will end. Tapos siyang itapon sa dagat, tapos siyang hagupitin ng maraming beses, tapos siyang batuhin na malap kabuntik na siyang mamatay. He will Saint Paul will be sent to Rome and he will be beheaded near the generalate of the society of the divine word. Yung SBD walking distance doon pinugutan ng ulo si San Pablo. So, 2,000 years. Simula pa kay Saint Paul until Saint Peter in the Gospel today, the Lord said, He said this, signifying by what kind of death He would glorify God. So, ganito ang kwento. Sa Bia Apia, Apian Boulevard, sa Rome, there is a small chapel. Quo Vadis Chapel. Ang ibig sabihin sa Latin, saan ka pupunta? Kapilya ng saan ka pupunta? Dahil may kwento na pumunta si Peter sa Rome. So, ang dami na ng mga Kristiyano na paranoid ngayon yung mga emperador. Di nagpapatay lahat yung mga Kristiyano, pinakain sa leon, pinapugutan ng ulo, sinusunog. Kaya lumikas yung iba, kasama si St. Peter, doon sila nagdaan sa Bia Apia. Tapos, nakita ni St. Peter, pabalik sa Roma daw yung Panginoon, dala-dala ang cross. Kaya sabi ni, ni St. Peter, Quo Vadis Dumine. Saan ka pupunta, Panginoon? Sabi daw ng Panginoon, babalik ako sa Roma para doon ipako uli ako sa krus. Napaiyak si San Pedro daw, bumalik sa Roma, e naristo ng mga sundalo ng emperador, pinako sa krus. Kaya lang, sabi niya, hindi ako karapat-dapat na ipako sa krus kagaya ng Panginoong Hesus. Kaya siya pabaliktad na ipinako sa krus. Kung saan ngayon yung Batikan, yung napakagandang simbahan, napakalaki, sa ilalim niyan, diyan, pinako sa krus, na patiwarik si San Pedro. Sobra na sigurong bawiin nung tatlong beses niyang pagtaksil. He betrayed the Lord three times. Sabi ni Jesus, I say to you, before the cock throws twice, you will betray me three times. So tatlong beses tumilaok yung tanda, tatlong beses din ang sabi si St. Peter, hindi, hindi ko kilala yan. Denied the Lord three times. So in the gospel today, Jesus asked him three times, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than this? And when Peter said, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Three times also, St. Peter was told by the Lord, feed my lambs, tend my sheep, feed my sheep. 
pangalagaan mo yang simbahan sapagkat ikaw si Pedro you are Peter and upon this rock I will build my church hanggang ngayon dalawang libong taon mahigit narito pa rin tayo naniniwala tayo so ang dasal natin ngayon sa misang ito pagkatapos sagutin ni San Pedro ang Panginoon three times Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Pagkatapos siyang sabihan, Feed my lambs, tend my sheep, feed my sheep. Sinabihan siya ng Panginoon, Follow me. Be my disciple. Share my mission. Share my life. Share my destiny also. To be a witness. To be the first martyr. Kayo rin, maging martyr kayo. Kaya lahat ng mga apostles, according to tradition, were martyred, shed blood to give witness to the truth of their proclamation. Kaya tayo, sinasabihan din ng Panginoon, follow me. Be my disciple. Let my life be your life. Let my mission be your mission to proclaim the kingdom of God. So may isang saint, sabi niya, tatlong beses din magkukonverts sa kanyang prayer. Sabi niya, Lord, three things I pray. To know you more, to see you more clearly, love you more dearly, follow you more closely. Nagkukonverts po yung tatlo. Magkaugnay po yung tatlo. You have to know Christ. You have to know God. To love Him. To know Him is to love Him. And if you love Him, you should follow Him. Like the Gospel says today. See you more clearly. Mas malalim na pagkilala sa Diyos. Love you more dearly. Mas mamahalin mo mang Panginoon. With, all, with your life, with your strength with your mind with your whole being and third follow the Lord more closely so that's what we pray during this mass today following all the readings remembering the blood that Saint Charles Luanga and his companions shed in Africa we pray today that we too we see the Lord more clearly Love Him more dearly. Follow Him more closely. So that His life will become our life and His mission will become our mission as we follow Him towards His destiny and give witness to the truth of our faith in the face of never-ending wars in Ukraine and Syria and all over the world. People are suffering. That is the context of our witnessing, of our being martyrs, of proclaiming the truth of what we believe in. See the Lord more clearly. Love the Lord more dearly. Follow the Lord more closely. Prayers of the faithful. My sisters and brothers, mindful that we are sent on the same mission as St. Peter's and St. Paul's, we ask God the Father to strengthen our faith so that we can give witness to the truth of what we believe in. Let our response be, Father, bless your flock. Father, bless your flock. That the Holy Father and those who exercise authority in the Church may be guided by the Holy Spirit, we pray. Father, bless your flock. That married couples may be sensitive to each other's needs and find true happiness in their lives together, we pray. Father, bless your flock. That sinners may find hope and encouragement in the Lord's forgiveness of Peter, we pray. Father, 
bless your flock. That the sick and those who are in distress may experience the Lord's presence amidst their sufferings and difficulties, we pray. Father, bless your flock. That our beloved dead may receive light, happiness, and peace, we pray. Father, bless your flock. And we pray for our other intentions. We pray. Father, bless your flock. Heavenly Father, you sent your Son to save the world through the work of your church. May we be inspired by the example of Peter and Paul to labor for the spread of your kingdom on earth. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer your sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying that as you grant it to blessed martyrs grace to die rather than sin, so you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to you alone, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyrs, St. Charles, Luanga, and companions poured out like Christ's to glorify your name. Shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear your witness to Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Oh, uh... 
Lord, you're holy indeed, the fount of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, to that sin may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of eternal salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis of Pope, Onesta of Bishop, and all the members of your one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Remember also our loved ones, family members, relatives and friends, who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light we your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, health of the sick, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Martyrs, with St. Charles Luanga and his companion, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence our Father in heaven in the words Jesus, the divine word himself, taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy. 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the divine word who became a human being, inviting us to follow him and become his disciples. Happy are those who accept this invitation to eat at his table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. of spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Oh, 
Let us pray. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs. May what help them to endure torment, we pray. Make us, in the face of trials, steadfast in faith and in charity. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, Novena Prayer. Divine Jesus, you have said, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened to you. Behold me kneeling at your feet, filled with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your Sacred Heart and pronounced by your adorable lips. I come to ask this favor. To whom can I turn if not to you, whose heart is the source of all graces and merits? 
Where should I seek if not in the treasure which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where should I knock if not at the door through which God gives himself to us and through which we go to God? I have recourse to you, heart of Jesus. In you I find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when burdened with trials, and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, I firmly believe that you can grant me the grace I implore, even though it should require a miracle. You have only to will it, and my prayer will be granted. I admit that I am most unworthy of your favors, but this is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy, and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon me a look of mercy, I beg of you, and your kind heart will find in my miseries and weakness a reason for granting my prayer. Sacred Heart, whatever may be your de decision with regard to my request, I will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. My Jesus, be pleased to accept this my act of perfect resignation to the decrees of your adorable heart, which I sincerely desire may be fulfilled in and by me and all your creatures forever. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I know that there is but one thing impossible to you, to be without pity for those who are suffering or in distress. Look upon me, I beg of you, dear Jesus, and grant me the grace for which I humbly implore through the Immaculate Heart of your most sake, sorrowful mother. You entrusted me to her as her child, and her prayers are all powerful with you. Amen. Oratio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins, and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love, and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Fernandemitz. Pray for us.
You have given them bread from heaven. Containing in itself all sweetness. Let us pray, O God, in this wonderful sacrament, you have left us a memorial of your passion. Grant us, we pray, so to venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may ever feel within us the fruit of your redemption. You live and rule, world without end. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Blessed be great, great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints.
Please rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Mass and benediction are over. Go in peace to become real witnesses to Christ. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi Leitare Alleluia Chia Quem Peruisti Portal